In this video, we're gonna go over the number one best backpacking backpack. The Osprey Porter 4G. I personally think it's the number one best backpack for backpacking. I've gone through a lot of bags backpacking. I've gone through, you know, camping bags, day bags. Um, just a combination of a bunch of different things going from having like a suitcase all the way down to just a tiny little backpack. But this bag, especially if you have travel gear or if you have camera gear, um, even though I have only a few outfits when I travel or in general, this is the best bag for backpacking, for traveling, um, from my opinion. I mean, obviously, if you might have more stuff or you might have less stuff, but even if you do have less or more, they have larger, smaller versions of this bag. I have the middle size bag, I think it's about 46 liters. I think they have a 60, 46, I think they advertise it as 45, but I believe they have a 40, um, or 50, a 56 or 55 liter bag and then a 35 liter bag. But this is the bag and it's super nice because hopefully you guys can get the whole thing in the frame. But this thing is phenomenal. I'll try to give you a, a, I'll show you, you know, how it works out and whatnot. This bag, uh, it's great because you have these adjustable things um, for, you know, keeping it closed up and streamlined. If you're not, if you're not utilizing the entire, entire bag, you don't have too much stuff in it. You can have it tight. And um, if you want to add a lot more stuff, you can make it much more expandable. Flip it in this way and just fill fill up the bag with a bunch of stuff. So it's very flexible um, to have a streamlined bag, especially for backpacking. Um, some of the features that it has on the bag besides these straps on the front, or on the back, depending on how you look at it, is it has these straps and these can go, you can put these inside, you can unclip them from here and use it almost like a duffel bag, hold it like that. It also has hidden, hip straps right here. So it has hidden hip straps and they're not the most comfortable, but they're very comfortable for, they're not purely this. They have this, which goes around the hip, around your love handles and whatnot. So that is more comfortable than just having one of these. If you have a backpack with just these around your back, um, they're really good if you're doing hiking or different things. And when you're not utilizing them, you can just stuff them away. They go right inside of the bag um, to even make the backpack even tighter on your back. You can strap these up here, or you can strap these up here, and that you can just you can adjust how how far you have this, and have it tightened or loosened on your back. So you can have it out here, or you can tighten it up all the way here, or maybe you don't even want these, so you can disconnect them. And what's phenomenal, especially if you're doing inner city backpacking, as well as like off the beaten track path, um, trail backpacking they have this phenomenal zipper. If you're doing any work on the road, this spot is phenomenal. And this, you can put your laptop, you can put your um, books and a lot of different things. It has one pocket that goes about halfway down and you put books and files and then one pocket that goes all the way down to the end up here. And then including that, you do have this, um, this pocket where drafts can go inside but there's the holes on the side. So I wouldn't put anything too important in there unless it's too big to fit through that hole. Um, but besides these, we're gonna close that up, flip this guy over and we'll show you the front. So if you unclip these two, there is a lot of room and stuff that you can fit inside the bag. You can um, fit a bunch of stuff in here, unzip that. You can just put a bunch of different things. I just have um, some random knickknacks and stuff in there. There's another big zipper, and it's not quite a C fold out for the second zipper, but in here, you can stuff your gear, or there's a bunch of different compartments, a zipped up, a zipped up area where you can put your zipped up area where you can put you know different stuff in here, a bunch of different pockets and whatnot. When you're done, you can zip up that. So there's the first two pockets. And then there is the pocket that I love about this bag and the reason I got this bag, which is a big, basically C-shaped bag. And this thing's phenomenal because 
Because of it, you can open it up and lay out all your stuff in here. If you pack in containers, if you have different gear, you can put it in there. I put, you know, dirty laundry in one area or dirty laundry or clean laundry in one area in a either this side pocket right here. I put it in a packing container and then you can have it in a, uh, a second one over here where you can put dirty laundry or maybe your swim gear or whatever it is, different types of stuff. And then on top of here, you have your quick access pocket, which is phenomenal because, you know, maybe you want to put your charger in here or your passport or your keys or your wallet, um, you know, whatever it is, maybe you have a lock or something. Um, but that's, that's what's phenomenal out there. It has really good top handle right here and a side handle here. If you have it all packed up and you want to use it almost like a duffel bag or um, just not a backpack, super versatile, really comfortable, um, nice high quality material. There's just a lot of things you can do with it. You can close it up that way and adjust the straps or if you don't have much gear into it, it gets super, super streamlined. So these fold over and it just, it's not, it doesn't have too many bells and whistles on it, which I like. I mean, you can tuck these in here. I tend to roll them up and put them in here. Um, but like, I just like it because it looks clean. It has everything you need in the bag. Um, it's very versatile. There's a bunch of different ways you can utilize it. You can utilize it for both backpacking, hiking, and for long trips and whatnot. I personally think, like I looked for backpacks for over a year. And once I saw this bag, I'm like, this is the bag. I got it at uh, North Face, but I'll put a link in the description box below where you can find this bag and you can get it on Amazon and order it. I think it goes for about $140 US, um, depending on which size bag you get. I believe for the 45, I think it's advertised as 45, but it's a 46 liter bag. It goes for just about $140, maybe $10 for shipping unless you have Amazon Prime. But if you wanna help support me and you buy it through that link, I will get uh, an affiliate for that. So I might get like four to 10%. Um, so if you do, that'd be great. If you wanna help support this channel, that'd be awesome. And this is just a phenomenal bag. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, but I do have the affiliate link. I, I literally look for the, this type of bag or backpack like this for over a year. Once I found it, I was super, super happy and excited about it because this thing's phenomenal. It's really comfortable when you're backpacking. It's really streamlined. It carries all my stuff. And if I have extra things that I'm bringing, I can, I can expand the bag and put more stuff in it. But overall, I definitely recommend it. Um, yes, yeah, so this has been NST Never Stop Traveling, and this is the Osprey Porter 4G bag. If you want to check it out, that'd be awesome. If you want to subscribe to this channel and watch more travel vlogs, travel tips, travel hacks, you can subscribe to the channel, hit that button, and then if you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified every single time that I post a video, which is about three days a week, and you can join me for my journeys around the world traveling to everywhere from Southeast Asia to North America, Europe, all over the place. All right guys, peace out, NST, never stop traveling.